Welcome to Inspiring You to Travel's Australia series. This episode is very special to me because my entire life I've always wanted to see the Great Barrier Reef. And today we take you there and provide some tips and recommendations for taking one of the cruises out of the Cairns Harbor to snorkel and dive the reef. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most spectacular natural wonders of the world. It's the world's largest coral reef system stretching from over 2,300 kilometers along the coast of Queensland, Australia. It is home to over 1,500 species of fish, six species of sea turtles, and 30 species of whales and dolphins and is made up of over 3,000 individual reefs and 900 islands. On day six of my son and I's trip to Cairns, Australia, we booked an all-day cruise to the Great Barrier Reef, which included an intro dive, snorkeling, lunch, and a helicopter ride. We booked it through the TripAdvisor app. The actual name of the company was Down Under Dive, and the yacht was called Evolution. The total cost per person was 286 US dollars and that included all of the equipment for diving and lunch, as well as snorkeling gear. We arrived at 7.15 a.m. at the Reef Fleet Terminal and checked in. We were brought onto the boat and to the inside cabin for a briefing for everyone who had signed up to dive. The Mexican wave of vomit very, very quickly around the room. Uh, these will be very, very popular. Um, worst places to be if you are seasick. Neither my son or I were certified, so we signed up for the intro dive. The briefing was very informative and the staff was very knowledgeable. They had us fill out medical and consent forms, and on these forms they ask you if you take any medication, and I had to answer yes to just a basic thyroid medication. Once I did that, I was told that I couldn't dive unless I had medical approval from a doctor. Apparently this is in the fine print, but I never saw it. So I was very upset and I tried to call a local doctor to get approval over the phone as we were leaving the dock and unfortunately they never came through with the certificate so I was unable to dive. This was probably a blessing in disguise since if you do the intro dive you cannot carry a camera and I wanted to use my GoPro that I had bought primarily for this dive. Also it is important to note that you have to stay interlocked arm in arm with your group and instructor, so you have no freedom to swim around on your own. My son did get to participate and did enjoy the dive, but was disappointed with the lack of freedom. Because I wasn't diving, I was able to get some great videos of him, which I was glad to capture. There were lots of people on board, and they call you in groups of around four or five people for the scuba diving. The cruise takes you to three reefs, and on the last one, we were taken on a 10 minute helicopter ride over the reef, which was probably the highlight of the entire day for us. It was absolutely spectacular. We were able to see stingrays and sea turtles from the air. I would highly recommend this company, but be aware of the medical certificate if you're planning on diving. Here are some of my tips and recommendations if you're going to take one of these cruises to dive or snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. Number one, if you're going to dive and you are either over 65 years old or are have any medication or taking any medication at all, bring your medical certificate or a letter from your doctor with approval to dive. Number two, doing the intro dive, it is good to know that you will be interlocked with your instructor the entire dive and will not be able to swim freely or take a camera. Also, the intro dive is at only one of the reefs and lasts about 30 minutes. You can pay an extra amount for a second dive, and I do believe they give you some more freedom to swim on your own. Number three, book ahead because these are very popular cruises and can fill up. Number four, if you have any food allergies, let them know ahead of time and they should be able to accommodate them. I am gluten and dairy free and had no issues with the food. Number five, if snorkeling, they do provide all your gear, but if you are like me, I wear glasses and I do not like to wear contacts in the water. You can order a prescription mask ahead of your trip for around 75 US dollars. You can purchase them from either amazon.com or from a site called getwetstore.com, which is where I purchased them. If snorkeling, I highly recommend bringing your GoPro or underwater camera. You can also rent them from the cruise company. In the next video, we will take you on a road trip to see Mossman Gorge and Cape Tribulation. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel.